Good day to you, my dear brothers and sisters. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. This is Father Ron Sandoval, SVD, Chaplain of the Philippine Sigotes Dins Gemeinde here in Vienna, Austria. I welcome you all to this moment with Jesus, the Word of God. Today is November 13, Friday of the 32nd week in ordinary time. Join me in listening to and contemplating the Word of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. John. Chosen Lady, I rejoiced greatly to find some of your children walking in the truth, just as we were commanded by the Father. But now, Lady, I ask you, not as though I were writing a new commandment, but the one we have had from the beginning, let us love one another. For this is love that we talk, that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment as you heard from the beginning in which you should walk. Many deceivers have gone out into the world. Those who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. Such is the deceitful one and the Antichrist. Look to yourselves that you do not lose what we worked for, but may receive a full recompense. Anyone who is so progressive as not to remain in the teaching of the Christ does not have God. Whoever remains in the teaching has the Father and the Son. The Word of the Lord Psalm 119 Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe His decrees, who seek Him with all their heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. With all my heart I seek you, let me not stray from your commands. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Within my heart, I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Be good to your servant that I may live and keep your words. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Open my eyes that I may consider the wonders of your law. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Gospel Antiphone, stand erect and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so will it be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage up to the day that Noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Similarly, as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating, drinking, buying, selling, planting, building. On the day when Lot left Sodom, fire and brimstone rained from the sky and destroyed them all. So it will be on the day of the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, someone who is on the housetop and whose belongings are in the house must not go down to get them. And likewise, one in the field must not return to what was left behind. Remember the wife of Lot. Whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses it will save it. I tell you, on that night there will be two people in one bed. One will be taken, the other left. And there will be two women grinding meal together. One will be taken, the other left. They said to him in reply, Where, Lord? He said to them, Where the body is, there also the vultures will gather. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Two more weeks. And um, we conclude the liturgical year. 
And um, it's obvious that the readings that we have for today are pointing to the end times, the last days. Brothers and, and sisters, what do you imagine you are doing on the last day? Ano kaya yung pinagkakaabalhan mo sa huling sandali mo sa mundong ito? What could you have been doing? No? Are you eating and drinking and marrying? Are you, what, what could have been you be doing? Can you, what can you imagine that you are doing? No? Jesus says in today's gospel that remain to what you are doing. Those in the field do not go home anymore. Those in the rooftop do not go down if your properties are in your house. Um, stay where you are and do continue doing what you're doing. I was wondering, um, during these um, floods no, in, in the Philippines, um, and we see, we saw pictures, the flood until the rupta. What could have been the people doing, before, knowing that the flood is rising to their homes? What could be the last objects that they bring out with them as they go to, as, as they being rescued, no? Or go to safe places. Yung classical question din na, if your house is burning and you have a last thing to bring with you out of the house, what would it be? No? What would it be? It must be very, very important to you. Sabi nga kasi, um, where your treasure is, that is also where your heart, no? So what could be your treasure? No? What could be the last activities that you're doing on the last day? I remember young episode in the, in the film, in the movie Titanic. Titanic. I hope you, you did, did you watch that? You, that, that part when uh, the musicians, no? Uh, after the chap of realizing that the ship was sinking, um, after being, I mean, you know, coming to their senses, um, they said, let's continue playing the music, no? And they were really playing the music until the very time that the, that the boat was sinking and until the moment that they died, literally. Yun, to continue doing what you have been doing, no? What could have been the thing that you were doing at the moment that you leave this world? The first reading is giving us a very important commandment or tip on what we should be doing on the last day. Not really as a thing that we're doing only at that particular moment, but what we have been doing over, uh, all throughout our lives, that, that is the, also the last thing that we will be doing at the moment that we are living this world. And what is that? Loving one another. That was what was mentioned in the first reading. Love one another. Love is the only commandment of God. And it is not a new commandment. It is an old commandment, but ever new. Loving God with all our heart and mind. Loving our neighbor as we love ourselves. That's the summary of the Gospels. That's the summary of the Bible. And it is always true to us. And we hope and pray that we will be caught up loving at the moment of our death. Nakakalungkot isipin, syempre, nakakatakot isipin yung last days. But if we are really prepared, and the real preparation is simply to have that lifestyle of loving, to have that lifestyle of helping, forgiving, sharing, um, sharing our lives and, and, and what we have to other people, especially those who are in need, a kind of lifestyle that means something that you're not doing only on the last day, but you have been doing all your life. And so... Let's start thinking about that. Let's start doing this. Not only merrymaking and not only be, being consumed with this world. Those who are so consumed with this world and living only in this world, that life will lead to death. But if your life in here is dying to yourself because of your love for God and for neighbor, that is where you regain life. That's the paradox of our life. It's mentioned in today's gospel. Those who would save their lives will lose it, and those who are losing their lives for the sake of the kingdom will regain, will, will save it. No? And so, pag-isipan natin mga kapatid, matanda na yung mundo, matanda na tayo, palapit tayo ng palapit sa ating katapusan. The world is getting older, we are getting older, we are every day while thanking God that we received a new day, remember that we are also one day nearer our end. 
And it's good to think also of that so that it will direct our life to whatever is essential. Anong importante sa buhay natin? What is essential? Last thing that you are going to to bring out when your house is, house is burning, last thing that you will bring out when your house is being flooded, that's where your treasure is. And I hope that we are bringing nothing <laughs> from this world, but only the memory, the good works that we have done in this world as a manifestation of our love for the Father. I hope that is what we are going to bring out of the house and to the Lord on our last day. That is the thing that we are going to report to Him, the accounting that we are going to do when we face Him and His judgment seat. To be with Jesus in this world, that means loving Him in our neighbor, is to worship Jesus in heaven. Amen. Sa wakas ng panahon, ipadadala ng Diyos ang kanyang mga anghel upang tipunin ang kanyang mga hinirang. Habang ating ipinapanalangin ang pangangailangan ng lahat ng sangkatauhan, hilingin natin sa Diyos na matagpuan niya tayong handang humarap sa Kanya sa Kanyang muling pagbabalik. Panginoon, sumaaminawa ang iyong habag. Ang simbahan sa pamamagitan ng kanilang pagsaksi sa kanilang buhay naway higit na makahikayat ng mga tao at mga bansa sa daan ng kaligtasan. Manalangin tayo. Panginoon, sumaaminawa ang iyong habag. Ang mga Kristiyanong sumasampalataya naway magpahayag ng kanilang pananampalataya sa buhay na walang hanggan at maunawaan ang walang hanggang bunga ng bawat kilos natin. Manalangin tayo. Panginoon, sumaaminawa ang iyong habag. Ang ating sarili, naway maihanda natin sa pagdating ng paghahari ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng tuwi ng pamumuhay sa katotohanan, katapatan at pagmamahal. Manalangin tayo. Panginoon, sumaaminawa ang iyong habag. Ang mga biktima ng pag-uusig at pang-aabuso, naway makatagpo ng tunay na kagalingan upang makamit nila ang katarungan, kalayaan at kapayapaan. Manalangin tayo. Panginoon, sumaaminawa ang iyong habag. Ang mga yumao, naway bumangong muli sa kalawalatihan ng buhay na walang hanggan. Manalangin tayo. Panginoon, sumaaminawa ang iyong habag. Sa katahimikan ng ating puso, itaas natin sa Panginoon ang ating mga pansariling kahilingan. Panginoong Diyos, hindi namin alam ang oras ng iyong pagbabalik, ngunit umaasa kaming hindi kami pababayaan ng iyong pagmamahal. Gawin mo kaming aktibong umasa at naway tanggapin ka namin ngayon sa aming mga puso. Hinihiling namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Kristo ang aming Panginoon. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Maraming pong salamat sa inyong pakikiisa sa ating pagninilay ngayong araw na ito. Kapatid, handa ka na ba? Handa ka na ba na anumang oras ay pwede kang lumisan sa daigdig na ito? Father Ron Sandoval from Vienna, Austria. Magandang araw at magandang buhay sa inyo lahat. Ciao!